the hypnotic yet seductive tones of Pukaji production. Das Pukaji. Das, das Pukaji, yeah. Yeah. Pukaji Retardrat. Retardrat. Well, that's come up a little early. Hey! Hello, welcome, good evening, bienvenidos to another immaculate Pukaji Productions video. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Gunung Padang. Indeed. And this is one of the mysterious signs you will see there of something that obeys street laws and apparently knows how to text. So where is Gunung Padang? It's uh, in Indonesia, so we'll start from the center of all things beautiful America, and then here we are all of a sudden in Indonesia. Yes. Sumatra? The, is that the name? Uh, West, in, West Java. West Java. Yeah. So Completely they, wrong. And no, I, I, I think we're good. And it's the top of a mountain, uh, an, a, a dead a deceased, an old, an extinct volcano. volcano. Yeah. And there are several other volcanoes in the region. The last uh, volcanic activity there was about 4,000 years ago, I think. Hmm. Still Be remembered. <laughs> right. The stuff they still... They do still point at it and, and there's some ore. You know, it's going to take you about seven hours from Jakarta, so it's good to find somewhere a couple hours away and then go in the rest of the way the next day so you can spend the whole day. That's... That's an amateur tip for you. Yeah, it's hard to get to. This is quite the interesting. It I is. love this footage. You came back. I didn't go. Luke went uh, and braved it. And this That's scooter it. ride made it worth it for me because I've got like 40 minutes of this insane little scooter ride. You're going to get some highlights from it is, to actually, actually get to the top of the mountain. This looks like a hell of a ride. The actual ride was 15 minutes. It wasn't the ride up. It was the ride down where my guy <laughs> he literally off. rode off. He rode off. Like we hit. I don't know what him. happened. All of a sudden he squawked something in Bahasa, which like in <laughs> retrospect, I think meant we're all going to die. Or poop. And he just like, like the bike shot off the edge and he went over with the bike <laughs> And I just threw myself off the back. You were film were you filming? Or no, was like I wasn't bad. filming it on the way down because I got all the stuff on the way up. And I She's thought, gone. you know, we're good. And then I, I had to pull. The bike got stuck between a tree stump Hello, everybody. and the side of the mountain. Hello. Hello. Pause for and, the convoy. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. I love this part, like running, like basically out somebody's bathroom. Yeah, right behind somebody's house. Hello It's there. a really weird little little trek, that, that little village. There's a couple of little spots where there's people. And there's Mount Geed. Uh, which is about volcano, right? 270 degrees off of uh, the terraces from Gunung Padang. AndrewCollins.com, he and a guy called Rodney Hale were doing some work on the astrological alignments of Gunung Padang. I haven't heard anything recently from them, but that they were working on that. So this is, this is the idea of what geologists tell us yeah. is here, right? Uh, the top terrace, Terrace 5, and all the way down to Terrace 1 being man-made, and then... According to archaeologists, everything else is, is natural. Right, and, this is where the debate begins. Right, and then volcanologist, seismologist, uh, Dr. Danny Hillman Natajawawa had come here and done some excavations and found some stuff and did some core samples and discovered that... Um, some cavities. Some, some cavities, and he also uh, discovered, apparently, that everything, not just the stuff in the pink that you see on the screen here, but under the green, all of that, most of the way down the side of this mountain is and my, uh, stacked columnar andesite, which uh, could possibly be man-made. Yeah, and, some interesting DNA results. I mean, we covered a lot of this. We did a podcast on it. Uh, I think it's number two or three. We talked a lot about good and so kind of a preview trip to this trip, and this is the report out. We covered a bunch of what Danny Hillman found with his drill samples and the DNA results, and I think you were telling me that there was some uh, some 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 questionable parts of that. It's hard to rely on yeah. that one drill core sample that came well, back I, with these results, yeah, and I mean, say specifically because they came back with like twenty five, twenty six thousand years. Like BC, you know, like yes. so, so twenty five plus thousand years ago, like is on organic remains inside this space, but it's hard to say. Well, some of the remarks I've seen from, you know, the the rebuttals were, you know, that uh, there were only two drill core uh, samples taken, right. and only one of them was marked, so they weren't sure where the second sample exactly was taken from, and from what terrace at what depth, so it was hard to correlate depths with the first sample. And uh, and then apparently there were some anomalies within, you know, like many thousands of years occurring within, you know, just a few inches. Of which, soil. Yeah. 
which can be a, a warning sign, right. I guess, that your sample's not not uh, not a good sample. But who this knows, is, right? It's hard to say. It's interesting evidence. Yeah, I just is, the sad part is they've put a stop to most of it. But this is interesting stuff. Well, this yeah, is right. the thing. Well, you know, it's an interesting site because you know it's plainly large areas of it are you know man-made. You've got these weird kind of scoop marks uh, in a lot of the stones that you see here that I. I would have to believe are natural. I think it's probably some kind of gas formation in the stone. I haven't Common seen natural. anything specifically. This is my first selfie Hello, of the selfie. day. I edited most. <laughs> I edited most of these out because I don't know for whatever reason. I guess weird foreigners are popular. Big but, orange beard, uh, my friend. Yeah, the orange beard maybe. But the um, you know, so the there are stones that uh, when they're formed, igneous, you know, volcanic rock. That when they're formed, they they have gas bubbles within them, rhyolite and others in particular. These are kind of large. They don't really seem the same thing, but it, that that may be what they are. I don't know. It's really it's hard to imagine somebody making these for a purposeful. They form basically. That's that the idea. It's common columnar basalt forms this way, right? It's a uh, a naturally occurring stone that then breaks off or can be used in this way. These aren't specifically shaped so much this way as much as broken off and used, right? That's the natural Yeah, I mean, it comes up in like a, very on. often in a honeycomb, um, you know, shape, and it's roughly, they're stone. roughly hexagonal. Well, some of them are a couple of tons, you know. Um, but it's nothing like you see in Egypt or Peru. It, there's no master stonework. There's no joins. There's no, you know what I mean? It, it's... Right. It it's a large work that was done for a specific reason. Yeah, it's all these uh, terraces yeah. that piled up these stones basically on top of each other, and that's now what you're standing on is the the top of this formation. Yeah, this is the top of Terrace Five, and this is this is Raymond. This is uh, met him in Egypt on the Hancock tour. He and a couple other people have come yeah. on various trips with us, and he's yeah. just knocking. A lot of these stones here are really resonant, like like the ones we do find in Peru. It's whatever these stones exactly the whatever it is in their composition that makes them resonant I'm not sure what it is but Fine. they do kind of ring like a bell especially if you knock on them with another bit of stone you yeah know, it really yeah we find that a lot of places I remember that was one of the first times I was exposed to it was Graham on that Graham Hancock tour jumping the line and just slapping the end of this obelisk like the tip of it that was tipped over on right. the side wanged it a couple of times and sure enough it was dur, 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 and tweeted yeah, that and he just else. railed at him it's pretty funny that one at Karnak is really something else yeah that was the one Yeah, you were there too that was one of the first yeah. times I met you yeah so interesting scoop marks in the in the stone uh, the top platforms you know all this stuff nobody nobody's arguing that this you know, wasn't man-made this was obviously done but it's worth noting that even that platform in the background these trees off to the side everything on here under under this dirt that we're walking it's all stacked piles of columnar anisite that's been been done by humans and uh, you know sometimes naturally when it comes you know comes up sometimes the neck can turn sideways and there are examples in nature of you know p perfectly stacked sideways you know columnar basalt columnar anisite mm -hmm. uh, that you can't find out there but this stuff at the top is definitely human so you know what Danny Hillman in a couple of sites I've seen one in particular human-resonance.org uh, they have some photos that we'll look at in a little bit these are the only photos that I've seen of the so-called lower levels where it's built like the upper levels. Right. This is at the bottom of the so-called pyramid. Right. Look at our layers. If you look at our yeah. podcast, we get into the possibility that the entire structure, which is, you'll see pictures of stairs later. Like this is, you got to remember that if you consider this to be like a very long, wide and, you know, flat top sort of pyramid, you're standing on top of it. Um, and that's the debate whether or not the bottom of this is actually man-made. There's not much to these photos, like you say. Like, it's just a couple of pictures from that one website of where they were measuring it and looking at it. Right. I think there's just there's no real conclusive. From what I saw, it's it's a it's a great site. It's a really beautiful site. I didn't see anything there where I went, oh my god, this is absolutely definitely this is proof. This is you know twenty five, twenty eight. 29,000 years old the bottom yeah. of this is built the same way as the top but on the other hand that's I haven't seen that it's not to say it doesn't exist you know they need to you know one way or the do other more work they need to do more work and get to the bottom and say okay yes this is possibly all man-made 
come in here with a big power washer and just 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 power it all off and get it down to the stone. There's <laughs> see the thing. You know, and there is to, to be said for it's like a fourteen acre power washer per experiment. It'd be interesting. To be said, like for the naysayers, you know, there is a lack of if some if there was a culture, you know, thirty thousand, twenty five thousand years ago that was building this, there would there should be theoretically, you know, more archaeological evidence of of their everyday life and all the other stuff that they mm. they would be doing. That I I don't think they've they found this looks like dated to that time this looks like ruins like there were buildings on top that were constructed of this and it's all been shaken and fallen down over over time it doesn't look organized like even if the platform (coughs) is well stacked and i know there's imagery on the side of these platforms that show it's kind of well stacked yeah this looks like the ruins (coughs) of (coughs) structures while you're coughing i'm gonna use a squeaky chair yeah and lean back in it a little bit so this is from the um the the second terrace down to the first terrace Oh, look at that. And it's a huge distance. Like, the others are a much smaller distance. But the distance down there is uh, is considerable. And you can see how, just how big this whole mound of, you know, stacked andesite logs is. Huge. So the Indonesian flag, I know that you've done a nice job with the text, the, the Indonesian flag. I did, uh, I did Indonesian subtly flag throw that in there sweet. for you all to enjoy. So it is a volcanic region, uh, Mount Gide, that is over here that we'll pan to towards the right, is actually a double-headed volcano. And so there are several peaks and things for a civilization to... To the right, damn it. You know, to be aware of back in that time when they were erupting. And perhaps align their, their monuments or whatever to... Well, you would remember the thing going off, popping off, and if you had a culture that persisted, that's one of those things that tends to uh, be remembered the day that the um, right. the world got angry and blew up at you. This is the side of these walls. This is the yeah, size of the platform, right? The this side the of the terraces. Terraces. Yeah. And uh, you know, you can see some occasionally I some of the that. stuff we just passed that's laid out like sideways as opposed to these, which are endways. If you just kind of looked at this end on it, you'd almost think like it's a normal wall of rocks, you know, kind of almost Inca style. Um, you know, obviously you it's it. not. It's piles and piles of these. It's a lot of work. These logs, and yeah, they're heavy. Yeah, I mean, those you try and lift either one of those. It's a few dudes at it. I mean, it's not. It, you're right. It isn't the twenty-ton blocks of anything. It's just, and if you're kind of laying around and you're using them, it's all doable. Get it there's done no, there's no stunning, you know, masonry and, mm-hmm. you know, temples and columns and things like that at all. It's just this it's sort of megalithic old stuff this this would be like zahi hawas national project where everybody comes together <laughs> and they time. lift things and they put it together and yeah, it makes yeah. one thing like when he gives his yeah, national nation project it explanation right it could explain something like this yeah it doesn't explain there's no there's not no, it doesn't seeing, explain the pyramids in egypt and you're not seeing high technology here this is right. this that was another i mean it's an effort and it probably took some planning but Mm. Not a uh, not evidence of some sort of high technology pre cataclysmic anything here. This was another so far. very resonant stone. It's funny while uh, I was looking at this and knocking on it, it was ringing, and oh, a couple no. of guys came over and I thought, "Fuck, excuse me." I thought, "I'm I'm going <laughs> to get yelled at," you know, because I'm so used to Egypt and Peru where you mm. can't touch anything, don't look at anything, don't be in the no same talk area. Up. No pass off. Right, no clam bar. <laughs> and uh, and no, these guys came over and they were like, oh yeah, these ring, huh? And then, what do you think? Why is that? And what were they doing? And Crystalline content. It was just really cool that there were a lot of people that were, were interested about that stuff. And those guys hung out and were like banging on that thing for like an hour. <laughs> Jamming on the rock. Yeah. It's a unique place to, to, to wail. So yeah, this is Terrace 1. And uh, again, you see that like the kind of snaky... Yeah, grooves, undulation in the grooves, you know that that are yeah. in the inside some of the stone. I, I you know, don't know if it's I, formed or if it's natural. It's, Seems natural. I think it's natural. I really do. Yep. Like I don't really see much evidence of them. There's no real obvious chisel marks or. It seems like everything was pretty. This natural. was a structure, I guess. This is something. Yeah, this was a structure, and then this here to the right is another huge mound that's also a structure and. You know, I'm just, look at the grass. It's just blown you know, in. The dirt grass is yeah. grown. You can't be bothered digging it out. I mean, yeah. 
and then these trees have taken root. This is, yeah. I love that about the the trees Southeast have, Asian have pushed stuff, a lot you know. of these structures out of the way. You know, they they've just yeah like grown that, up through it and just the, pushed it all. There's something to like the same as the Cambodian sites, right? There's something to those places in the jungle where the tree just starts to integrate with it and it becomes very beautiful. Yeah, if perhaps hindering to the archaeology, but it's beautiful. Life just chews it up over time. <laughs> Planet just eats it up. So what's really a question, I think, is like all these trees over at the side there and around here and this whole mountain mm, down okay. the side to the edges and beyond, is it all stacked columnar andesite or is it a natural hillside and right. just these terraces are built on top of it? That's the question. I mean, the orthodoxy will tell you it's just these terraces and they attribute that to what was it. In our podcast, it was only a couple of thousand years back, right? I say only, but it was a definitely a Stone Age s not Stone Age, but hunter gatherer society. Which it's hard to believe that hunter gatherers can do even this. This is, I mean, let's put it this way: I've been to um, Amantini Island, and they are, and there's a. If you've ever been there, you can walk this path that's been there for a long time, and it's all terraced. And the people are repairing the path. They're just trying to repair the path, and it is, that is hard work trying to replace stone. And these people terraced entire hillsides and. I mean, this is the work of a lot of people. It's hard to pin it on hunter-gatherers. You've got to have a big lot of organization just to make this It's also really hot down. and humid, and you're in the middle of a jungle. Yeah, there's a lot of resources behind it, which is just, like, what the hell are they doing? Yeah, again, this is Terrace 1. We're going to walk around the side Staircase. of some of Terrace. And again, there's some more of these bubbles or holes in the stone talk to the staircase but that's the whole debate was is that all staircase part down the side of the pyramid or a natural hill right or, yeah. right I mean there's stuff in the parking lot that looks like this and I've just I, I come to the conclusion that that's new they've made that look like this stuff but if the whole hillside all the way up is built of this stuff there could be a cavity there could be other it, things in right, there, right then it yeah. could well you know be that this stuff was built by a human culture 30,000 years ago. And I, you know, I'm 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 a believer in in the pre-cataclysmic civilization. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think a lot more stuff about our history makes sense if that's the case. Yep. Um and and I would like for Gunung Padang to be part of that story of how we discovered it. You know, I just didn't really see anything there that was so conclusive. And, you know, a lot of that's because they stopped the work. They're just not, you know, they're not doing it. Right. But, you know, Danny, Danny Hillman, Nanjawawa, he still hasn't published, you know, his thesis. Really? Okay. See, this is interesting here, too, because this is the corner we just walked around. And here you can see the lower level, like in the foreground of this picture, underneath the ground that's made out of these, again, these columnar logs that are stacked, you know, anisite logs that are stacked on top mm -hmm. of one another. And so if the whole hillside, all the way down the mountain, you know, is made out of these logs and under, you know, the jungle and everything on the side, then, and it goes back. See, this is the, the picture from human-resonance.org. And this supposedly is supposedly a, a lower level, it says, one of the lower layers. And here are some people, and they're excavating stuff. And... It looks stacked up. It looks stacked up. It looks sideways, you know. And but if this is you need to, I don't know where this is or if there's but anything I, else behind it. I don't you know this is a, a picture they say is from Gunung Padang. It could be from you know Siberia with a couple of Asian people in it. And you know, here's you know mm. these are pictures of the the orange concretion that they talk about that's around this stuff and and you know some ancient cultures we were in Kerala. That's 5,000 years old at it's least. They were using uh, concrete and mortar there. Yeah. Um, so it's possible, it's but there are geologists who are also saying, you know, that this is, you know, iron. That leaches naturally that leaches out of the naturally stone. leaches naturally out of the columnar basalt. And so here's is... other examples of columnar uh, igneous rock. This is... Um, Devil's Call? Devil's Call? That was, yeah. Giant's, Giant's Causeway. Giant's Causeway. And this is uh, Devil's Tower. Devil's Tower. Yeah. Uh, in Wyoming, I think. Yeah, Giant's Causeway is in Scotland, right? Or it's in Ireland? I think it's in Ireland. This Ireland. is California. I think this is uh, part of Devil's Post Pile. Um, and Devil's you, Post Pile. Yes. Oh, it's and, amazing. Yeah, it does. And it's not too far, far from, from here. We should, yeah. we should go see it. This is uh, Monte Cristo. 
And this is so this is, you know, you can see this is in Spain somewhere, especially that stuff in the background. You can kind of see it looks similar. It's not exactly what's going on. That stuff on the top definitely still looks. This is Scotland. This is uh, Fingon's Cave, mm. uh, the Isle of Staffa. But this, this is in uh, Utah, no? Utah yeah. uh, Step Pyramid, it's called. Or step step mountain. It looks amazing. The wall looks amazing. The, and it's man, look at that. I it looked at that, like and it's wall. you know that is that's a natural formation. So if nature can do something like this, and this is what we're showing in the seismic record, then you know we're going to need to get it. You can see when you get closer, this mm. stuff is joined together. You know when it was still hot, it's still formed up that way. Yeah, yeah. it's still formed up that way. It hasn't just been stacked. And it's not quite like this, I guess. You know, it's, it's hard not, to say. It's, it's possibly like within that. the within the measure of variation that right. occurs in that type of. Yeah, see that look. It does look similar, doesn't it? But it's not joined, I guess. It does look stacked. I, I, right. If you had to tell me, if I had to look at that, I, a coal, I'd tell you, it's, I'd say that's been man-made or it's been stacked this that is, way. This is definitely, I think, been man-made. So if it's yeah. like this all the way down underneath, then that's but the it question. was hard looking at that one picture of those guys with that stuff and the really <laughs> wet, soft <laughs> mud. You know, mud. Where they've carved it in and they've excavated. It's, it's really hard to, uh, it's really hard to say. And, you know, Dr. <clears throat> Hillman Nadejuwawa still hasn't actually published you know any of his stuff for for review so we're still waiting on on any of that stuff too so the conclusion is that more research it seems is needed here yes so, there's many yeah. questions and yeah. this would it may fit the picture of the past but i think it needs the more research there's nothing you didn't see anything conclusive just going there right it's impressive a lot of work man Holy no crap, i mean i think you'd have to really get down honestly into the jungle and you'd have to look you'd have to start digging and had, you'd have to start looking at whether that stuff was all you know, I don't know any other way other than, you know, fancy technology to go and have a look. But even that, Beautiful you're going to get, you know, stuff bounced back and then you're still not going to have actually seen it. I think you're going to have to dig it up to actually know. I'm glad you went there, man. It was looked like a great trip. One day maybe I'll get there. I, I'd like Indonesia. I've been there a lot. I just haven't made it to here, but... You know, it's a it's nice a, one. It's a beautiful country. It's definitely worth worth visiting. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We did. We went up to... Um, uh, where did we go? Lompoc. And then the Gili Islands afterwards for a few days. It was beautiful. Yeah. Here's Mount Gibe. Off in the distance. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that little look. I'm Ben. I'm Luke. Thanks for watching Pookie Jay Productions. Pookie Jay.com. Pookie Jay. Pookie Jay. Pookie Jay. Pookie Jay. Pookie Jay. Pookie Jay.